Hello everyone, this is Shelby with Shelby Creations. Trying to <clears throat> go through a and pick out things that I know I'm going to be using soon. We know we've got the 13 days of Halloween coming up next month. We got the <clears throat> 21 days of Christmas coming up in December, <clears throat> which will all be different projects. So I was trying to go through and I wanted to do a Christmas album this year because um, as most of you know, my son and daughter-in-law live with me. And my daughter-in-law, or my, my daughter and my son-in-law, and two of my grandkids will be moving up um, right before Halloween. And they'll be staying here, you know, for a couple of months until they find their own place. Um, but I, So I wanted to do a Christmas album this year. And I went ahead. <clears throat> I made you know, just my basic cover. I got my spine ready so that I could put my pages in. And I decided on the paper I wanted, which I thought I had. Now, this was, this has been several years old when Prima had their Santa baby. Seeing if there is a date on this anywhere. Because usually put the dates on things. Either 2018. This is quite old. And this is all I found. I have the Satan crystals. And I have the puppy stickers. But that's... Oh, and I do have the flowers. But they're up in my flower bin. So I've got some of the things. And I thought I had paper. But I can't find it. So... I started looking. I went through my Christmas bin. I've got an iris bin. that That's all I will allow myself of Christmas stuff. Going through that, I found, and don't ask me why these were in there, I found Halloween. These were digi, digi prints that were public domain that I downloaded and put on cardstock, colored with um, markers, and then fussy cut them and turned them into stickers of my Zyron. Halloween. Not Christmas. Those don't go in there. Then I found shamrock buttons. Why were these in with Christmas? I have no idea. So those have to go somewhere else. <coughs> then I started... <coughs> Please excuse me. My allergies are... have got me every which way but loose. So I started pulling out some of the loose Christmas paper I have. And I found some pieces. All right, those don't go with Santa Baby. This is more Nutcracker. You know, and this came out of um, one of the, uh, the magazines like we get. This one was on card making. And these are from the UK, so you can't get a subscription for them here. But they're the ones with the, come with the stamps or the dikes with them. And that's mainly why I buy it. But when you go through these, you will see that they will have papers. And it's very simple. You sit them in your printer, print them out, and you print them out on regular copy paper or cardstock, which is what these were done on, just regular paper. <coughs> this had, um, this was a backing to a set of stamps. I had saved that. But that may go, so that may work. Um... Yeah, and then I've got other Christmas papers. Of course, we all have glitter paper somewhere. And then this one, which I thought was really pretty. But the other ones I have don't really go with the pastel colored Santa Claus. Well, I figured, okay, let's pull out some paper pads. Now, when you pull out paper pads you pull out paper pads and you keep pulling out whoops wait a minute that one's not paper pad that's something else entirely we pull out papers this is just 12 by 12 white so that I can set aside <coughs> this is a prima that they don't do, they don't have anymore this was where is this Prima? No, this is paper crafts. 
and they don't make this one no more. I'm trying to see. Yeah, it is Prima. But no date. I don't see a date anywhere. But they no longer make it. So when Joann's was selling it at 25 cents a sheet, I bought enough to, well, what they had left. Then I found Christmas paper. This is pretty, but not Santa Baby. This one. And now these are, these are old ones. This is from 2019. This is 2019. This is little doggies and kit caddies, kittens on it. Caddies. Uh, this one is also from 2019. I like the, the antlers on this one. But that's not going to go. So we're going to set those aside. I did find this one. <coughs> but evidently I have used most of the pages that I want and there's only a few pages in here that would work. I'm sorry, I'm not into, where is it? I'm not into fur. But, you know, others could work. Especially, you know, that page. I love the Pastel Santa. And I want, so, this one I'll hang on to. The others are going to have to go back on the shelf. Then I find some that I totally forgot about. This one here, a very dear friend from the UK sent me. Cannot get this here. And she sent me this several years ago. <coughs> so I'm not even sure if there was a date. It was probably cut off. But beautiful paper. And then in with my paper pads. Oh, let's see. What is this? Maybe, but, you know, I don't think it's really going to work that well. You know, greetings. Uh, not sure where this one is from because I can't read it because the writing is either, I think that's Japanese, but there's a whole paper pad that, even though it's pretty, one or two pages may work, but no. So that was going to go. Then I found, why is all the loose paper in with my paper pads? Am I the only one that does this? See, these are... Uh, I don't think any of these are going to work because I don't think these are part of what I'm... Even though they're the right color, some of them, and some of them are... Oh, that's just... That's a whole piece. These are all, this was a book. I think this was Primrose. But let's see, I got a corner torn there. So, those will have to go in with my 12 by 12s. Uh, Prima Lavender. That's not going to work. I'll tell you that right now. See, this was the, the Primrose by DCWV. That was what some of those other ones were. So, those aren't going to work. And then, Spring Market by, who? Oh, Cartabella. This is pretty. This is gorgeous, but not Christmas. That's going to have to get broken down. And, solid cardstock. Solid 12x12 12 12 cardstock. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, there's some more of that paper. And dark rainbow. You see the different ones. So, those aren't going to work. What I may be forced to do, and even though I'm on a spending freeze, if I do have to buy, and yes, let's face it, I'm going to buy paper for this. I will go to the different craft stores and buy the single sheet papers. If I need any other embellishments, I will only buy what I need for this one Christmas album. No more. And I will show you what I bought when I get it. 
but I went ahead, like I said, and this is out of medium weight uh, chipboard that I made the cover. Very simple, basic cover. Um, but yeah, this is what I want to do. Oh, and then I'm thinking, well, what am I going to do with what I have? Now, when we talk about, when I say I have everything in an iris container, I do mean everything is in an iris container. If it doesn't fit, then I got to figure out something else to do with it. But I don't use just what you can get at the craft store. Like, these are the wood cutouts. Yeah, I've used one of those, but I love these. And with the little, some of these have the little tags on them, the little strings attached to them. Paint them and use them as, as tags on, uh, on gifts. You can hang them on your tree, whatever. These are different parts of Christmas cards that I had received that I cut out what I like. You know, you don't have to stick with just what you can buy in the craft store. There's everything from little small ones to, you know, just paper to, you know, strips. And they come in a wide variety. You've got vintage, you've got modern, you've got, you know, everything. And these are all from Christmas cards. In fact, I even went so far as just to cut the front off on some of them to save the whole front. So I have all of these. But wait, there's more. I have more card fronts. Circles. That all I do is punch out different parts of Christmas cards that I liked. You know, fussy cut things. And this is basically, hang on just a second. You know, there's the front of another card. I've got cards that I made from the front of cards. Simply glued them onto a card form with the, you know, very simple. So I've still got all of these. More card fronts. Tons of card fronts. I think last year I got over 200 Christmas cards. Tags that I make. Now another thing you can do with your Christmas cards, you can make tags for your gifts. And I got little gift holders. I know these open. So yeah. See, so put little cards or whatever in there. More tags that can go on. Um, gifts. Write the name who it's to. Stick a candy cane in there. You know, and I made two different ones. I've got rub-ons. I've got stickers. But everything else in here, none of this would be Santa Baby. I've got vintage. I've got you know, all kinds of stuff. Other things that I have cut off of Christmas cards. So, I don't really need to go out and buy any more embellishments, per se, because I have quite a bit, but I don't have what I especially been wanting to do. <coughs> more pieces of cards. These are all glitter stickers, snowflakes. Merry Christmas and glitter. I've got, yeah. All of this in here, puppy stickers, felt stickers, you know, even glitter, bells. So I've got quite a bit here, but I don't, oh, and I put these in here because these are only ones that I have of Prima Flowers that are the, um, the are the red Christmas ones. Victoria Christmas, Peace and Holly. Yes, I do. I write the names on the back. So, I've still got all of this. And I've got to use this up. Because I'm tired of it hanging around. You know? So, this still has to get used. 
and those will fit in there. And then the whole thing, yes, it does. See, it closes. That's all Christmas, minus the paper. So what I was thinking about doing was, we've been working on bags. We can make, which it take, you'll, you'll understand once we get into doing this. We're going to make just a Christmas photo album out of regular lunch bags. It'll be better, but this is coming up too. <coughs> but finding all of this stuff and what you do have, what you don't have, the whole idea of a spending freeze is to use up what you have. Now, on the 21 days of Christmas, I'll be using a lot of what's in that iris bin. On my personal family Christmas album, I do want to use the pastel Christmas along the lines of Santa Baby. And so that's the only thing I will be shopping for. The paper and what few other little embellishments that I may need. And that's it. <coughs> because when you look at the spine that goes in. Now I learned this from Genevieve over at Genevieve Designs. Each, one, each spine will have a minimum of two pages where you attach it on this side, you attach it on that side, and you can do four, you can put two on each side. So there's two, four, six, eight, there's ten pages. So I'm going to need enough paper for ten pages, plus yeah, whatever's left I can use for tags and, and whatever. So that's all that I'm buying this year. I've got glitter glue, I've got everything else, and it has to be used. That's the whole idea of a spending freeze. So, stay with me, and we will see what we find to use, and what's coming up for October. Like we, have, we have 13 days for Halloween, or 13 days of Halloween, which is 13 different crafts, um, all pertaining to Halloween. Now, it may be paper, it may be, um, it could be uh, clay, it could be mixed media, um, it, the possibilities are endless. And it's the same for Christmas. <clears throat> so we've got 13 days of Halloween, 21 days of Christmas coming up. We still have to get through the rest of this month, which I think there's only like 9 or 10 days left. I don't know, I have, with my allergies, I have been out of commission for about a week with this. Um, I did do the get COVID testing or COVID tested so that, you know, I haven't had it yet and I don't want it. <coughs> Excuse me. I've lost too many friends to this virus, this pandemic that's going on. And um, it did come out negative. So that's a good thing. But that's about it for now. Um, stay tuned. Like I said, we're still in our bag series. We're still working in junk journals. And who knows, we may even do a Christmas junk journal for one of the 21 days. There's no telling what's, what's around the corner or what's going through my head. So, hit the like button, the subscribe button if you want to be notified of all the upcoming events. And I will see you later. Bye, guys!